In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to build a decision tree in Triage Pro. We will build the example model in the files view called legal negligence. The decision tree compares the options of litigate versus settlement, including several decisions which can occur along the pathway. It's likely you'll have similar strategies for your model. Let's look at how to build it. We're in the basic layout, which lays out the most frequently used tools in the toolbar. You can find additional options in the advanced layout, which you can switch to at any time. Create a new model from the launch pad. You can create a model with the assistant, which will walk you through step by step what to do when you're building a model. But we'll just create a model from a normal decision tree. When you create your model, this wizard will open, which will ask you if you want to go through the model setup. This allows you to adjust the type of calculations that your model will do, numeric formatting, and so on. Unless you need anything additional, you can accept all these settings and continue. Label the decision node to describe the case options you are considering. In this model, it's looking at options for the defendant. You can adjust the length of the branches with the ruler at the top of the tree editor window as required. Now what we want to do is add strategies based on the options available. To do this, we just double click on the node and then branches are added. And then we just need to label the nodes as appropriate. Each of these strategies that we're having will have different events which can occur. So we'll use nodes and branches to add those events. The strategy for settlement in this model will have no further events. So we're going to look at assigning costs to this option after we've created all the other model pathways. The strategy for litigate will have a number of events which could occur. The pathway should follow the order in which the events could happen for your client from left to right. In this model, we have whether damages are suffered. And then we have if damages are suffered, are these due to negligence? And then final, if negligence was the cause of plaintiff's cause of injuries, are there are three options available of a low, a medium and a high damages. Now we have the structure in place. We just need to add appropriate labels describing what happens. In this case, we use jury fines, and then the defendant was negligent. We enter the opposite decision in the lower pathway. With the structure and labels now in place, we need to add the probabilities of the events. At each chance node, the probability needs to sum to 100%. We believe the probability the jury finds the defendant negligent is going to be 60% and we enter that below the branch. Because we know the probabilities need to sum to 100, we can use 40% for the bottom probability. Repeat this process for the remaining probabilities. The final part of the model is to terminate each pathway to enter the total net cost for the scenario. These are called the payoffs. The legal cost for each scenario is $100,000 and each pathway has a different liability value depending on the damages awarded. Entering the payoff for the scenario where the high damage is awarded, we change the chance node to a terminal node, and then we're prompted to enter the payoffs. We're going to enter 4.5 million minus the legal cost. And then we repeat this for the other scenarios too. For the scenario where we fail to prove causality, there's just the expense related to that scenario. So we're going to enter here minus $100,000. To analyze the completed model, we can just use the calculate button to run rollback to determine the expected value for each strategy based on the value and likelihood of each scenario. This allows us to choose the best option to maximize or minimize values. The optimal strategy here is highlighted in green. Visually, we can use the probability distribution graph to see the likelihood of the scenarios. 
just select the chance node where the damages are awarded and in the analysis menu select probability distribution. This graph is going to show graphically how likely the different options are across high, medium and low. Finally, let's look at a model that uses variables as well as entering numeric data directly. This example model, Legal Tree Vares, is very similar to the one we've just built, but uses variables for the numeric values in our model. For example, we have this award here of award high for 3.5 million, and that's used directly in the model. And the model still evaluates the same, but by using variables, it will give you the options to um, effectively change your values across the model and also do sensitivity analysis.